Matthew 6, 19-20 Stop storing up for yourselves treasures on the earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal. Rather, store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. Hello my wonderful YouTube family. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a very sad story time. Something that happened a couple of weeks back last month. So uh, it all starts when my husband gets home and he says he's got tickets to go to the circus. So I am excited to go to the circus. I go and I tell my daughter, she's almost going to be 17. So she basically just goes along with us. But I'm so glad she came with us. Um, so we all off we go to the circus and on the way over there my husband says you know what I forgot my phone uh, on our way back we'll stop and get our phone because after that we we're gonna go eat dinner to Sizzler oh my goodness I love going to Sizzler my favorite keto plate there is the steak and shrimp skewers and I just get the vegetables um, instead of the rice and then I get an extra side of vegetables and sometimes when I get the rice I just give it to my husband but I was so excited to go eat to Sizzler my dinner because I love that particular plate. Anyways, uh, after the circus, we're driving back home and as, to pick up my husband's phone. As we're getting back home, we notice that our little Yorkie, the female dolly, is running in the front yard, which is crazy because that's never happened before. So what we do, well, what I do is I immediately get down from the car. My husband tells me, stop, stop, wait, wait. I guess he wanted to get down to it, but I wasn't really registering. I just wanted to get her. I was afraid she would run to the street and get run over. Uh, so I got down, and when I got down, I could hear her crying. I've never heard her crying like that. She was crying and I, I was trying to get close to her and she would get away from me. So I thought, I, I just grabbed her as fast as I could and I'm telling her, it's okay, Dolly, it's okay. And as I'm approaching the front door, the door's open, the front door's open. So of course that didn't feel right. Something was wrong, obviously. We never get home and our dogs are outside and then, and then the first thing I thought of was grubby because I love Dolly, of course, she's my baby, but remember Grubby, I've had her, and, and I, 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 a couple of days before that, I remember going for a walk with my daughter, and we were talking about, I wonder if Grubby had the chance to run away, if she would run away. Anyways, uh, we were about to find out. And I yell at my husband, because he's parking the car in the driveway, and I could see from the front door that the back door's open as well. Oh my goodness, I knew Grubby wasn't going to be there. I just, because I knew if Grubby was there, she would have been in the front with Dolly. So, um, immediately I said, you know what, they broke in the house. We had a break in. So my husband gets down super fast before I could get inside the house. And he runs inside and he starts looking in the rooms. Yes, we had a break in. Um, I immediately go towards the backyard to see if I could find Grubby. I start calling her and no, Grubby is nowhere to be found. I go around the house to the backyard because in our backyard, literally we have our backyard and behind our backyard is the golf course. So I guess I was too trusting, I don't know. I, I We had a break in and I couldn't find Grubby anywhere. When I come back in, mm, I go in the room, my bedroom. Everything is tousled. Even our mattress is uh, everything. They made a mess. They moved things around. They, 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 they made a mess basically. Um, and guess what was missing? My box of my Pandora collection. It wasn't where I always had it. Cause I had it where I have my shoes. And I'm gonna try for this video not to be super long, but it was missing. I had my Pandoras in a hot pink box with a beautiful big bow. It was missing. Uh, and then I looked around in the room and I saw the darn box. I was so happy. I reached out to get it and it felt super light. Now in this box I have my 19 bracelets fully loaded collection. I have my gold, my 14 karat gold bracelet which I've been working on for a long time. My husband gets me a gold charm every special occasion and I needed one more charm to complete that bracelet. And the one I was asking for for this year's anniversary, for my husband and I, 26 year anniversary, was the cream of a crop 
Pandora charm, which was the crown. The 14 karat gold crown with the diamonds. That's what I wanted for our 26 year anniversary. All I needed was that one to complete that gold bracelet. I could have completed it already with other gold charms I had, but that was a special bracelet. I wanted that particular one for that bracelet. So I got the box and I, and it's so funny because, I'm sorry I opened that. It's just that I'm seeing that this is crooked. Um, and, and I could feel that the box was so light when I went to get it. And I said, oh no, they took all my Pandoras. Of course they're gonna take all my Pandoras. And then uh, I opened the box and there was just a tiny little box with um, a ring, a Pandora ring. So I had in there my 19 fully loaded bracelets, Pandora bracelet with my 14 karat gold bracelet, my two tone bracelets. And then I also had a collection of 16 Pandora rings. So that was my entire Pandora collection. I guess it was kind of naive of me to place it there where my shoe racks were, but I don't know. I guess I was too trusting. Anyways, my husband calls the police and um, yeah, that was around 6.30. The police ended up getting here around one in the morning and they told us not to touch anything, not to move anything because they were gonna take fingerprints and they were going to, um, take pictures and that sort of stuff. So I couldn't go into my room. My work room was a mess. They tousled out my clothes. They stole three jewelry boxes. They stole my Rebel 3Ti camera that I used for YouTube. They stole that. But still what hurt me the most was my Pandora bracelets because if you're a Pandora collector, you know exactly when you got each charm, the day you had, the reason why you chose it for particular, they're so personal. Those Pandora bracelets are so personal. And then it was my 14 karat gold bracelet that I was almost gonna complete. Okay, that's where I was up to that point. So my husband's work room, they stole things from him. From my daughter's room, they stole things, but they didn't tossle things in my daughter's room. They just took one of her Apple phones and her laptop. As far as we can tell, up till now, that's all they took. Um, and um, yeah, so what I did in the living room, they didn't make a mess because there's not a lot of things in the living room, just the couch, the TV. They didn't take any uh, TVs or any electronics that we can see other than the laptop and the phones. Oh, they also took my husband's phone, the one we had come home to pick up. And um, so I laid down in the couch and we were just waiting for the police to get there. But before that, my husband went to ask around the neighbors if they had seen anything. Of course, nobody saw anything. Uh, and me and my daughter were in my room just sitting there and I was just thinking, oh my goodness, my Pandora collection, grubby, where's grubby? Uh, those were the things that worried me the most. And uh, I went outside again calling Grubby and I, she, would, she was nowhere to be found. Oh my goodness, I was just dreading a car would run her over, thinking uh, as soon as, uh, and then there was Sid also. Now Sid is the old Yorkie we have. That Yorkie must be about 70 years old. He is old and he's a runner. So we adopted him from a shelter being older. He was about 15 already and we've had him for about seven years. So he's way old. I mean, he's old. He's a really old Yorkie. And um, of course we knew he wasn't gonna be there because he's a runner. That's how come we got to adopt him because he was a runner. So uh, we were thinking already what we were gonna have to do the next day, going to the shelters, to the animal control and, and notify them because they're chipped. So they would hopefully find our babies. Anyways, as I'm talking to my daughter, Grubby walks in the room. I don't know where Grubby was hiding, but she walked in the room so scared. I've never seen her, well, she's, we've had her for two years. I've never seen her that scared. She was peeing, her tail was down, her ears were down, and I would talk to her and tell her, grubby, grubby, and she sort of like didn't recognize me. She was acting like Dolly was acting when I picked her up. So finally, she like came to her senses, she realized it was us, and she still with her little tail down, but she came up to us, and I was petting her and hugging her and kissing her. I was so happy. Who cares about the Pandora bracelets? I was just happy that Grubby was home and that I had her with me. So I immediately called my husband. I told him Grubby is home. So he came running back home from asking the uh, around the neighbors and all we had to do was wait for the police to get there. We couldn't go in the room. We couldn't move anything. We didn't want to touch anything so they could get fingerprints and all that stuff. So I'm um, laying in the couch. Finally, when in the morning, the police get there. Um, they dust it. We told them about the things that were missing and they dusted the Pandora box and they said they got good fingerprints from that. Not that, you know, it really matters because even if they get fingerprints, it's impossible to get your stolen. I mean, what are the odds? You're not, I, goodbye Pandora, goodbye camera, goodbye everything. Anyways, 
uh, the cop told us that he he uh, fingerprinted with black dust everywhere and took pictures and asked to tell us a, a list of things that were missing. So that's what we did. We told him. Anyways, to make a long story short, after the cop leaves, we go, my husband and I go to the room and we start picking up the things. I go in the restroom. I'm washing my face, and my husband uh, didn't tell me anything. And then when I come out, he says, "Look what I found." And he takes out one of my Pandora bracelets and he puts it on the bed, which is all sloppied up also as well. And um, I couldn't believe it. I said, oh my goodness, my Pandora bracelet. And then he keeps out taking more and more. So it's the bed in the middle, my side of the room and his side of the room. It's as if they, okay, when I found the box, the box was closed still but the but the bowl was stretched out like they just stuck their hand in there and they were taking things out so what i'm thinking okay to make to all my bracelets were there you guys even my gold bracelet was there in but in all in between all the junk that they had made on his side of the bed so it's like they tossed one by one like they took out the bags out of my pink box because that's how i store them i store i do not keep my pandora bracelets or rings in their original box because they'll tarnish. So what I do is I get plastic baggies and seal them and that's how I store them. So let me show you because now I don't have my Pandora collection in a box anymore. This is all my Pandora stuff. It's a lot of Pandora. So let me show you how I store my Pandora things. So I store them like this in little plastic bags. So what I'm thinking is that they probably thought it was junk. That's what I'm thinking. They probably thought it was junk and they would just tossle it to my husband's side of the bed. Ah, junk, junk, junk. But no, it wasn't junk. It was my Pandora collection. Oh my goodness, that turns. I, and I like beyond, um, like I really, I like I told you guys, I don't even care that my, well, I do care. I do care that my uh, camera was missing because it's the one I used to use for um, YouTube, but I'm just glad that I have my Pandora collection and that more importantly, Grubby is okay. Grub, I can see Grubby right now. She's sleeping there. So I'm so happy. And then my favorite bracelet. Oh my goodness, my gold bracelet. But that's my story time. Isn't it shocking that they didn't take a single Pandora bracelet? But that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking they saw the bracelets in these cheap little plastic bags and they probably stuck their hand into the pink box and saw all plastic bag and they probably just tossed it to his side of the bed. But all my collection was there. One by one he kept, he was so happy to have found my collection because he knows how, not that it's important, that yeah it is important because when I was going through my anxiety episodes, something that helped me a lot was to think of charms. I don't know if that makes any sense but looking for charms and, and putting bracelets together was really therapeutic for me. So I think that's probably why it was such a bummer for him. And for me, um, <clears throat> it taught me a lesson. So the lesson to be learned here is don't accumulate goods here on earth. And I've always known that. Accumulate your treasure with God. Have a good relationship with God because at the end of the day, you could have a break in and the things you treasure materially could be gone in a heartbeat. But your relationship you have with God, that's there and nobody can take that away. That's like solid. So that's the lesson I take from this. And um, yeah, that's the lesson I've learned from this whole situation. Make sure where you're putting your treasure is with God and not in anything materialistic because that could be gone in a heartbeat. They'll come in, steal it, and, and what will you be left with? If you have a relationship with God, that's what really matters. And that's for me the lesson to be learned. And I remember thinking during those hours when I thought my Pandoras were gone forever, I remember thinking, lesson to be learned, girl. You know, yes, I have, that's a treasure for me and I value it because I've invested time and money in it but you know lesson learned lesson learned uh 
what I told you guys. Don't accumulate riches here on earth. Accumulate a good relationship with God because that no one can take away from you. So that's my story time. It's a, it's a shocking story time to me to think that they didn't take any of my Pandora. That's probably, uh, no, not probably, definitely was more valuable than my camera, more valuable money-wise than anything they could have taken um, that I own because really I've invested a lot into that collection. So to see that every single piece, you guys, they didn't take a single ring from my collection. Everything is there. And it's just amazing to me. The box, I was so mad. So the box after the, the cops left, it was a beautiful hot pink box. I didn't even want to see that box afterwards. It was all dusted with black, uh, the fingerprint dust they put on it. I got the box and I threw it away. So that's why I have my things in this plastic bag. I'm looking for the perfect box. And again, I'm storing it in a safe place because um, just in case it happens again, and if it does again, well, what can you do? You can't secure anything materially, like I said. But that's my story time, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time and you guys are happy for me that Grubby's back home. Oh, and I didn't tell you about the senior citizen, Yorkie, Sid. So the following day we went to the animal control and we told them that our Yorkie was missing, that he's really old, that his tongue is constantly sticking out and they made a report and they asked us if he was chipped. Yes, he's chipped. Uh, so it, two days after they called us from another city. Now, mind you, the city I live in, these are huge cities. There's miles and miles and miles and miles apart. It's in the desert. So that little Yorkie dog traveled a lot. He passed through freeways, streets of course, and and when they called us, they called us and they said it looks like he got ran over. And I told I even talked to my husband because he gets really emotional about our pets. And I said, just be prepared just in case we have to put him to sleep if he's like really messed up so he won't suffer. And he he was just listening to me. So we drive over there and no car ran him over. He's just old. He's just an old dog, like He's like really old, but he still jumps, he still eats, and, and he was walking with a limb. I mean, look how far he walked. He was walking with a limb, but he's fine now. He's fine now, he's eating, and it was so funny because the doctor told us that his heart is so weak that he wouldn't even, oh, because they told us he has bladder stones. Uh, but uh, the doctor said, I wouldn't even dare do surgery on him because his heart is so weak and chances are he won't make it. So Sid is with us again, the family's together again, so it all turned out good. Yeah, we're missing a couple of material possessions, but the good thing is that we're all doing good. Our babies are home and uh, yeah, my Pandora collection was just so shocking that I still have it. That's it for my story time, you guys. Hugs and kisses to each one of you and I'll see you guys next time.